All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to disable BitLocker from boot. Um, so this computer has BitLocker on it. You do need the BitLocker key to remove it. Um, if you didn't set up BitLocker, there's a good chance that Microsoft auto enabled it and it's linked to your Microsoft account. If that's the case, when that blue screen appears with the BitLocker code, it will tell you what website to go to. You can log in there and you can check your key from that website. All right, so I'm gonna be booting from my USB. This is a Lenovo laptop, so to do that, I press F12 on boot and I can see my USB. This is a Windows 10 USB installer. If your computer doesn't uh, let you start that way, some of Lenovo's uh, have a little one key recovery button that you can press with a little pin and that will allow you to select the boot device. If you have another device, the key might be different. I believe in um, in HP laptops, it's F9 and other ones, they're also like F12 and some other keys. But anyways, we're going to boot the USB here. Okay, I'm going to load Windows 10 and we're going to let this go and then I'll be back to show you what step to do next. All right, so now we're here. We're just going to go to next. All right, I just tabbed down to next. And then instead of install, we're going to go to repair your computer. You can click it or I just use the keyboard. All right. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go to troubleshoot, command prompt. All right. And then here you can see the BitLocker recovery key. So let me type that in and then I'm going to click continue. Again, if you don't know your BitLocker recovery key, they have this website here. You would go to this website and then you would sign into your Microsoft account using your email and password. Okay. So let me put the key in and I'll be back. All right, first thing we have to do is figure out which drive has the um, uh, Windows on it. So we're going to type in C and then colon because usually it's C drive. And no, it's not. Oh, oh, it might be corrupted to where we won't even be able to do that. And I'm going to type in DIR. So we're trying D drive. Um, and that's actually my USB. So if that's the case, I think we're not even going to be able to do this. So if we go to this, you can see this isn't Windows. C drive is somehow corrupted. So let's try check this C and F. All right. Wow, the drive is really corrupted. So I'm doing a disk check. This is going to take a very long time. I don't know if it's going to work or not, because if the drive is that bad, look at that. It's like every file it's doing is corrupted. So we'll see. I'll let the disk check run, and then we'll see if we can actually read C drive after this. All right, so uh, I'll be back. All right, so now we got C drive to work after doing the disk check. So we're going to do manage, okay, hyphen, BDE, space, dash, off and then we're going to do c drive like this all right so just like that uh, make sure that your c drive actually has your windows stuff on it so enter and there you go Des description is now in process uh, in progress sorry um, we are going to have to check um, the thing i forgot what the actual command was i think was it just that i think it's like status or something so here you can see yeah status so basically you would type in the same thing oops sorry manage bde space dash status and you press enter and you can see the encryption amount here 14.7 percent encrypted so we got to wait until it says zero and unencrypted and then we should be good to go you can just keep like checking the status over and over 14.4 14.3 so you can see it's going down and then once it's completely decrypted we should be good to go and if you want to see there's all these other commands you can do uh, you can turn it on and off you can pause it resume lock unlock auto unlock all these other things but uh yeah I'm just completely removing it okay so we just completely turned it off and that decrypts it and turns it off so yeah, we just got to keep waiting here and we'll just keep continuing to check the status until it shows zero. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. 
Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could um, uh, watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.